Hey guys, Nice Nexus here, about to do another interview, this time with Sean, aka Wolf Kaosan, if I hopefully I said that right. Uh, Wolf Kaosan, whatever, trust me, no one no one gets it right. No one gets it right, no one gets it right. Mm-hmm. Anyway, uh, welcome back to another interview with a gamer. This time I'm doing an interview with Sean. Uh, for purposes, I'll be saying Sean because, goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> I don't all- blame you. you. I mean, worst uh, case scenario, you can say Wolf, it doesn't matter to me. Uh, it's all good. It's all good. Anyway, uh, I, what I do at the beginning of these videos is I do a quick lowdown of wh- how it's going to go. Mm-hmm. Uh, just kind of remind people. So generally what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be asking Sean about his gaming pass, his habits, his YouTube channeling. We're going to get to know him a little bit in this interview. Oh, so no. it's going to be kind of a, a very interesting experience. Don't worry. If there's anything too private, they won't see it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I also apologize if I've coughed a lot, guys. It's because I am currently getting away from a cold it's being a little bastard but anyway getting just, back into yeah hmm? no i was just gonna say just punch your cold in the face you'll be good oh yeah i'll punch it in the face gains all right let's yeah yeah okay but anyway okay 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 so what started you into gaming um what started me actually it uh was both of my grandmother influences um me and my uh, one grandma, we'd always play Donkey Kong Country, the first one and the second one. And then uh, with my other grandma, I'd come over to her house and she had like the original Nintendo series, ah, Nintendo. Mm-hmm. And what we would do is I would just play Kirby there all the time. And so I'm like, oh, I freaking love this stuff. And then fun fact is my parents used to be like really into gaming too. So it's just kind of like always been around me in a sense. But... I think really, you know, the whole grandmother thing, that's what really started it. And also, whenever I go over to my grandma's house and my uncle had The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past and I would play that whenever he wasn't around, that was fun too. Okay. So basically, I'm guessing your kind of first experience would be with a Super Nintendo, essentially. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Love that thing. Oh, if yeah. I could marry I a Super, if I could marry Super Nintendo, I would. Oh, I bet. It's all good. <laughs> so that was, that was one of my... Actually, the... The original NES was my first, and I, I love that thing to a death. Oh my god, yeah. it was over at my cousin's. It was a beautiful system, though you had to blow hard on to make sure that it worked. Mm. Yeah. And euphemism here. Mm. Giggity. Anyway. Giggity. Mm. Yes. Mm. Okay, so I'm guessing that, as you stated, uh, Donkey Kong Country seems to be something close to your heart? Oh yeah. Actually, like, I have, you know, I have tattoos on me and whatever. But uh, the next tattoo I'm going to get, since I have like a whole right sleeve dedicated to my family, I'm getting a video game uh, tattoo on my left arm for my grandma and grandma Rita. So basically, yeah, I'm going to it's going to have Donkey Kong and Kirby incorporated into it for both of them. So it's uh, very, very close to me. Oh, uh, that's that, that is awesome. I that's really nice to hear. See, uh, especially uh, if I, especially with gaming is if you have the, the kind of special relationship with a family member and it involves a video game, it kind of creates these fond memories which you can build upon your rapport as playing games and stuff like that on YouTube and doing mm-hmm. reviews because then you can kind of pull from that and it gives you that great experience to add to the kind of oomph when you're doing your reviews and stuff, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And like sometimes there's also like really, really, really funny moments that you want to tell people and you're like, uh... Should I, shouldn't I? And then you just go for it anyway, because it's like, well, you know, video games to me is always about the experience and whether it's stories or even experiencing it with other people, it's just always been about the experience for me. And I love it. I adore it. I need more of it. Uh Uh-huh. That's very good. Now, now let's see. I'm just trying to think. Uh, With the Super Nintendo, Mm -hmm. did did you find that... It was a little bit ahead of its time, do you think? Or do you think that was perfectly for what the genre, the kind of time period that we got? I think it was ahead of its time because, I mean, looking back on it, there's still games back then that still hold up to this day. And there's many revolutionary games, like, for instance, like Super Mario World. One of the best Mario games of all time came then in, like, 1992. 192 I believe actually yeah. I don't I don't I don't know yours that well but uh, I'll put up I'll put the correct one in the in the description right now <laughs> Sean was wrong 
Just Sean have was a, wrong. Yeah, just, just have a counter of how many times Sean was wrong. We're already at one. <laughs> Don't tempt me. I might. <laughs> That's good there. Okay. All right. So let's see here. Let's see here. All right. So we're going to go in from that. We're going to go into your channel a little bit, and we're going to discuss some stuff on your channel. I have it okay. currently, uh, currently up in front of me right now. Um, as I kind of start with everything like this, I like to ask about your icon, the icon that you have for your channel. Now I like to know it was this of your own design or did you uh, get somebody else to make it for you or what's up with it? Yeah. So, um, I wish I could make that icon. Uh, I'm terrible at art. First of all, like I am the worst stick figures are still my best friend. So that I didn't get to make, but I actually had a friend make it for me. Um, I'll go ahead and tell you his uh stuff like in the description and all that because he does a lot of great illustrations but um the thing that i want to do with it is i'm really into super smash brothers and so the outfit's actually based on wolf from uh during that time period and it's just me with a game controller because you know i like games and pretty much that's about it it was pretty simple design um even the logo was just like a wolf with like a retro you know uh stick and all that so well, not stick, but like air. What, what, what am I thinking of? The uh, uh, D-pad? D-pad? Yeah, D-pad. Wow, I suck today. I'm sorry. <laughs> don't, don't worry about it. We all have those moments. Especially but, me. I, especially me. <laughs> trust, uh, it, it, this is 24-7 for me. But uh, yeah, that, that's about it. I mean, it would, I never wanted to go like over the top with any kind of icon or like design or anything. Because the way I view it is just simple, you know? But that's just me. Okay. All right. So uh, I'll get you to provide those uh, details to me later on. Uh, and we'll get that. Make sure it's in the description for you. Yeah. Uh, okay. All right. So I'm currently taking a gander. Uh, I see that you currently do not have any playlists. Yeah. Mm. Actually, I, I used to, ironically enough. But because uh, I was doing Let's Plays for a little bit. Uh -huh. And uh, my guilty pleasure is dating sims. Like, I love dating sims. If I could play them all day, I would. And so I was doing some of those, but, like, the dating sims I was playing were, like, really over the top. And I'm like, you know what? Probably probably should stop this, because, like, I had a backtrack of, like, 20 episodes for one show. And I'm like, okay, this is, this is a lot to do. And the other thing was, like, it was kind of making me... Uh, lose track of my channel videos and all that because as you can see like there's like a long time period between like some videos and that's because i was recording other stuff and trying to make let's plays and it just it wasn't working for me like i think if i'm gonna do let's plays it'll be like on a secondary channel or mm -hmm. you know just be streaming about it with like little edits but uh, okay you learn mm -hmm. you learn stuff the hard way uh, okay so I'm guessing that, um, let's see, currently, I, what I can currently see on your channel is about five videos, from what I can tell? Five or six, I can't remember. I believe oh, okay. six. Oh, okay. All right, yeah, because I noticed that there was a, uh, being in nothing in the playlists, and that, and that that's perfectly fine. Like, yeah. Especially with, let's see, what do you want to do with your channel and what kind of uh, upload schedule you do. Uh, is it's just really up to the individual of how they want to do it and that's yeah. perfectly great and that's great the way it is uh, okay okay so from what i can tell you do a lot of reviews and i'm mm -hmm. um, guessing top tens yes really okay. i i um i need to do another actually i have two top 10 videos that i want to come up with uh soon which i'm gonna start what i want to start doing is i want to start getting more people involved so like I'm gonna start having polls like, hey, which one of these top tens do you want and stuff like that. But um, I'm actually putting a lot of effort into uh, Sonic Forces coming out soon because people made oh. me play it. You poor soul. Yeah, it's it's finished. I finished it. It's done. But my God, I hate. <laughs> I just I just hate. I, that's all I feel. Oh, oh, severe God. amount of hate coming from it right now. Yeah. Yes. That it just envelops me. Okay. Yeah, that was kind All of right. dark. I'm sorry. That's fine. 
As no, believe me on the believe me for these videos, it's it's better, especially if you want to just kind of let things out. Because remember, this is a the way I like to do these is I do these kind of as a conversation between me and the interviewee. And yeah. so whatever goes between it, if there's anything that I can, I need to remove, I will remove it. But nope. if it's perfectly fine, what's what there is perfectly good. Nope. So leave everything. Like, you leave everything. Okay. Good. Yeah. I mean, I'm I sitting here naked right now. So who cares? Well, ladies, guess what? <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Thank but um, I like to under I like to kind of d deep dive into the uh, reviews. Okay. So tell me, what what kind of process do you go when you're doing reviews of games? Like, I kind of want to hear about that. Okay, so like for instance, what I did because uh, I try to do something different every time, but um, what I'll usually do is I'll play the game, and actually a lot. Uh, a lot of times in my videos, like I record myself talking about the game because I rant and sometimes I get mad. And actually, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll keep some of my rants and just put them in the video like as I'm playing it. So but I also have a notebook paper next to me. It's so, like there's something I think of. I just write it down with the time period and all that. So the big thing that I also do is I'll re listen to me talking about the game and as I'm listening, sometimes I'll come up with like a skit or an idea and I'm like, oh, maybe I should expand on that, you know? So it's mostly improv, but then I'll like try to fine tune it. And I, like, I'm, I'm one of the people who, you know, likes to talk in the moment. And if I'm not feeling it in the moment, then I can't just do it, you know? So oh, like, yeah, yeah. but like, if I'm able to like revisit those emotions, like I can actually portray, it, go about it yell about it because you don't forget certain games like lover freaking hate that game it's not just, ah, sorry i'm having like ptsd right now with that game <sighs> but yeah yeah it's just not it's just not a good time but usually that's what i'll do is i'll just record myself talking ranting being annoyed and i'll just you know write down the time periods and then go through that and um yeah that's pretty much about it Okay, so from what I from what I gather is that you take time while you're playing the game to kind of you have these little rants that you do within it, and you do the recording there. Yep, and you kind of pick the best moments from that, and you kind of incorporate into the final review, mm -hmm. and you kind of expand upon those emotions that you felt during the game to kind of expand a, in a, let's say improv or whatever to kind yep. of add add a kind of boldness to the content that you're going to put out. Yeah, like okay. what in. That's that's the way like I want to do these reviews. Is I don't want to like act like I'm mad when I'm not. You know, I don't want to like put any kind of like fake emotion into anything. Like, if I don't like it, like I don't want to like it. You know, like I'm not someone who ever wants to act like something he's not or say something that I don't feel. And that's why I think me recording myself talking and even putting in those rants kind of portrays that as well. And that's something that I really want to get across. And sometimes, like, it feels awkward because, like, I'm like, ah, does it feel forced? But at a certain time, I'm just like, you know what? I'm yelling about a game because I freaking died three times in a row over some bull crap. So, yeah, I'm mad. It's going in. Oh, yeah. And see, that's the and that ends. I really respect you for that because especially with um, some reviews is they kind of try to inflate the emotion that they have during that yeah and and it really shows through in the review uh i find that especially if you're doing a review of a game is if you show those tiny little emotions you're getting pissed off because you're you dying so much you're getting you know you say hey i did something really cool and i'm really happy about that you have that kind of glitter in your eyes when you're doing that yeah. that's the stuff that people need to see on these kind of things and this is what you're trying to attain to mm -hmm. and i think that's and that's a beautiful thing and that makes content that people want to watch because it, the game is one thing, but the person that's doing the review is another. And the way they portray the game through their eyes, through their emotions, is what's going to bring viewers to that video. Yeah. And that's and that's perfectly, and I perfectly agree with you. And that's, that's a good thing, because it makes it easier on you, easier on the viewer, and causes them to have a kind of a great moment. They'll remember that video. Well, they say, hey, yeah, I'm, I, it's like, I totally agreed with Sean when he was pissed that he died three times right there. Yeah. And so, and, and it kind of says, hey, yeah. And it's like, and they say, share it to their friends and have that kind of same moment. And it kind of builds momentum, right? 
Oh and yeah. So that really adds to it. Really adds to it. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. then occasionally people are obviously not going to agree with everything I say, but I mean, that's how videos are. That's how video games are is you're not always going to have the same experience as someone else, but it always brings out discussions and conversations. Like I want to hear exactly. other people's viewpoints and that's oh, yeah. true. That's, that's another reason why I like doing reviews is I want people to not only hear my opinion, but I want to hear other people's opinions and discuss them. Like that's, that's the kind of person I am is I like to view other people's viewpoints, no matter what. It's oh, always yeah, good to be open minded. Always good to be open minded. Yeah, that's the truth of it. And see, the thing is that people will uh, kind of attune to that. And because, you know, one of the, sometimes people aren't going to agree because goddamn people are always different. Oh, but, yeah. And, the, and, and, oh. They will, and they will just like basically eat out their own ass before they'll admit to it. Um, oh, yeah. yeah and I, I got thing. a couple. I got a couple messages after I did my top 10 worst video game endings. So I in looking back, that might not have been the best idea for my first video, but it happened. So that, that oh. was a learning experience right then and there. Oh, yeah, but uh, from what I can tell, you did get a decent amount of views on that. Yeah, usually, I've learned usually that's probably what happens with top 10s, but yeah, I like it. I, I put a lot of thought and effort and anger into that video. Oh, yeah, and that's the thing, is just, it's something that you kind of have to go with, and you say you're trying to spice it every time you're doing it, too, so yeah. you might see that things, certain things work and certain things don't work, and that's kind of the thing with YouTube is, you're not going to always have the perfect video and not the perfect idea. And you're going to try yeah. something and you're going to see that it's not working. And you're like, okay, fine. And you see something really works. You're like, yeah, yeah, I'm going to stick, stick on that. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Because we're on this topic, I like to ask about your video links. Do okay. you, when doing a review, do you mm-hmm. have a set mindset of what, how long you want a review to be? before you record it? Or do you just do everything else? You throw out what you need to throw out during the editing process? Usually, uh, I don't really have like a time period that I want. Um, I already have, you know, the pre-recorded like intro and outro. But what I'll do is I'll always make sure like I have like a script written down with like the skeleton. So like, all right, know what piece here, what piece here, what piece here. And so like, as time goes on, it just kind of fills out the time on its own. So like, I've had people say like, oh, we want like longer videos, but I'm not really one to, you know, I'm not, it's really hard for me to figure out how to like expand that because like, if I have an idea, I don't want to force ideas in there. So it's a very weird thing for me personally, because I don't ever want to put like ideas in that I'm not fully confident in, which granted i've done before but like lately i'm like "Eh, if i'm not feeling it i just don't want to do it you know oh yeah no and that's completely agreeable on that because you see you're the content creator what you want to put out is what you want to put out the viewers um they can have their input to a point but you basically ultimately you're the one who's going to be putting out that and if you feel that you can't expand that content out to a certain timeline well, yeah. that's just that's just how it is. Yeah, um, and like, and, and the thing is, like, I know that I could expand it, but the thing is, like, I don't want to, because I think the people reason like some people like me is because like how bold and random I am, and I don't want to just throw in stuff just to throw it in. Like, I'd rather people want more than people getting tired of it, you know, or wanting less. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's that's, that's the way I'm trying to view it right now. Okay. Well, that's, that's, that's a good way of doing it. Um, especially, uh, I find, especially with let's plays, um, you say you dabble in a little bit of those. Um, there's a, there's a kind of a hidden kind of niche that you kind of hit with, especially with, with let's plays, um, especially with your episode lengths. Mm -hmm. Um, I've always, I've always had difficulty with trying to make sure, uh, that I get, because especially if I'm playing a really store based game, I find it's really difficult, especially where to cut it off because I want to include all the, like the story dialogue. Oh yeah. Um, and that's really kind of a hard thing to do. Um, mm-hmm. for example, for example, a series that I'm doing, uh, a wolf among us. Yes. Oh yeah. I've, been, um, I've actually watched you play that. Yes. See, the thing is with that is I, I generally know that I'm going to have to make those episode lengths longer because, 
uh, I want to make sure that I incorporate all the content, but I don't want to make them so long because I know that each, because I like to do episode by episode in the series itself for Telltale. Yeah. I kind of want to, I kind of want to stick within the episode for it, but there's kind of a thing nagging in the back of my head saying you should try to stay around 20 minutes. And it really is kind of annoying, but I understand the importance of it because people don't want to sit more than a half an hour watching you depending on the content you're watching. Yeah. And, and it's, it's the kind of balancing in between that is, is that, especially with a review, as you do, mm -hmm. it's it's kind of, well, as you say, you kind of piece in as you go and you don't know exactly what the length's going to be. Yeah. And so and so you kind of, you what you end up with is what you end up with. With me is that I record a good, a long length and then I have to say, you know, where can I, how can I cut this here? It's kind of yeah. the reverse opposite of what you have to deal with at the moment. Mm -hmm. And, and so it's just kind of, there's different levels of difficulty, especially in the type of YouTuber you want to be. And so that's the thing. And so lengths for you, like they're a bit, a little bit easier because you you know what you need to do, what you want to put in there. You have know exactly what you want. For yeah. me, it's, it's just trying to make sure that I still have all the content there, uh, cutting out the block parts, blank parts with me and so on and so forth. And yeah, it's just, especially, especially with like games like Wolf Among Us, like I know how story driven that game is and how just you like even i don't i don't know like how much you enjoy that game but like usually oh, you just it. yeah you just want to keep going you just don't want to stop but, yeah and that's a, yeah which did you see that they're coming out with wolf among us 2 finally yes i did and i plan on doing it i am uh just going through the process i going through because I'm trying to make differentiate my content right now, trying to stick to a certain series that I'm trying to do, try to get that out of the way and then move on to a new series. Yeah. Uh, I, I am actually going to be getting up a Wolf Among Us. The next part is going to be going up this Saturday along with this video. Yeah, sweet. Yeah. So alongside this video, guys, you will see that. And mm. uh, I will I will try my very best to make sure that it is the best quality you guys can see after my freaking throat. I'm going to punch it in the punch it in the dick eventually. But anyway... Uh, uh, all right. right. Wait, you, you can punch a throat in the dick. Yes. How does that yeah. work? How does that work? Yes. Um, like... Okay. So basically, what you do is you need to get a little stick figure drawn. Okay. And and you huh. and you just put and you just apply this to your neck. Okay. And, and see and so basically put the top of the head to mm -hmm. the bottom of the neck mm -hmm. and put it lowing down and see where it's right between the legs of the stick figure. That's where it is. Ah. <laughs> okay. See, yeah. I just I just learned anatomy today. Good for you. <laughs> uh, it's all good. But anyway, okay. So, all right. Um, going, getting back into it. Mm -hmm. I would like to talk about. Since you have these six videos here, I think I'm going to ask you to talk about each one of them, if you don't mind. Yeah. Uh, and kind of the process and what you kind of going through, and if you remember any of the videos or something you were talking about in that, just let me know. It's fine to go. Okay. So let's start with the one that I'm kind of interested about, the top 10 worst video game endings. So yes. I, kind of want, I kind of want to hear a little synopsis of what uh, you're going with it, and I will inc include a link to this, any of the videos that I'm talking about in the description as well. So this was my first ever video, and um, fun fact is I have no idea how to edit. Like the, everything in that video was me learning how to edit right then and there. So it was a very long process. But what I want to do with it is I want to give like my own top tens. Like I didn't want to do the, oh, well, you know, this is on every other, you know, like any other list of worst video game endings, like no Mass Effect 3, no Halo 2. Like I want to give my experiences and that's why there are certain games in there where someone's like, why would that be in there? Like I have Super Mario Sunshine in there. It's not a bad game. It's an amazing game. I love that game. But the ending just made me hate it just felt weird, you know? Okay. And then, like, and then, um, there was, like, certain things in there where I just wanted to make it, like, personal, and I didn't want to give, like, the same list everyone else gives. And that's something that I want to do, is I don't want to do the same thing that everyone else does. I want to just show who I am as a person through my terrible decisions and everything like that, you know? But, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, that video. <laughs> that video, right? So, so with that... Mm -hmm. You see, you're trying to add your personal experience to it. Yeah. And that makes it unique in the sense that you are kind of, you know, kind of living through 
those games and you're saying, yeah. okay, these are the top 10 worst video game innings in yeah. my opinion. Mm-hmm. And so, I, and, and that's uh, the thing that you kind of, yep, sorry. Oh no, I was just going to like tell like a story about that. Cause like I said, I like to do experiences and th- this will, okay. So one of the games is Contra 3, which I love Contra 3, but my God, is that game the hardest game I've ever played in my entire life? Like piss ants everywhere. But so like a while ago, I lived in Cincinnati and uh, me and my buddy, you know, we bought Contra 3 because we never beat it. Like we're 21 years old at the time, never beat it. So we spent like an entire day trying to beat it. And uh, there's like this one level where you have to, you, it's the only level that you can get like extra lives and you're fighting like a mini boss. So we shot our guns for like a good like couple hours. Like just, that, that's not an exaggeration. Like literally you sat there and killed these things for like over like a few hours and uh you know like i'd go take a bathroom break or, or like you know he'd go to the bathroom you know things like that well what ends up happening is we went to go play and uh we had like 36 lives and he died at the last level like all his lives are gone so like i don't know if you ever play contra 3 but once your lives are gone you're done uh-huh. so yeah so I had to do it. And here's the thing is if I would have died, we would have had to start at the beginning of the level. But so I ended up uh, actually beating the game, which were on normal difficulty, by the way. And they, it makes fun of you for beating it on normal difficulty. But we beat it. Mm-hmm. And we were so happy that like, he was like, dude, I want to get a cake. I was like, all right, let's get a cake. He's like, no, let's email Ace of Cake. So we actually emailed Ace of Cake to make us a Contra 3 uh, cake. And like, we're like, oh, you know, that's funny. You know, maybe, you know, maybe they'll read it. Maybe they won't. They responded by the next day saying, we're so totally down to do that. Except (laughs) it would have caught. Yeah, like they were so down to do it. They're like, but it's going to cost you $2,000. And I'm like, oh. Wow. (laughs) Yeah, so I was like, oh, man. Two grand. Yeah. And I was like, you know, it'd be cool. But I don't think you know beating Contra Three is worth two thousand dollars. Yeah, <laughs> kind of not. Yeah, it, th- but that that was a fond memory, a very fun and angry moment of my life. <laughs> I imagine so. Jeez, two two grand, man. That's yeah. a deep in your pocket. Deep yeah, in your no. pocket. No, well, oh. yeah, my pocket, my pockets were closed. Mm, Nothing's I going to them. Yeah. And yeah, and kind of what I was trying to, um, well, kind of say for that lovely story. Oh, um, sorry, I suck. It's no, no, that is perfectly fine. Because basically, when you said the line, well, oh yeah, I says, I was like, oh yeah, here's a story. I says, I have to hear this. So I backed off. But um, the what I was going to add, add to that is just generally, there is uh, a kind of thing that I kind of agree upon, especially when you're doing a review, is being personal. Mm-hmm. But not, but not being personal to the effect that is going to uh, basically take off the fact that it is a review. Yeah. Uh, because as you are doing that, you're doing this, you know, as content for people to watch. And I find if you muddy the waters, if you get with my drift a little too yeah. much, it actually causes it to be a bad review. Oh yeah. Oh and, yeah. 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 And so, um, I think that what you're striving for. Uh, and what, what you've explained to me so far is you you're you go to a point where you make sure that you have emotions for it, but you mm-hmm. don't let them overcome. Um, you that you kind of go to the point where you're like, oh yeah, I hear, and then you say, okay, generally you grab this part in here and you. And that really makes a good review when you pull from different sources and pull from different emotions in one video. Yeah. And I have to applaud you for that. So I wanted, kind of wanted to say that. I kind of wanted to applaud that and so that you could see that, especially with the video game Worst Endings. Some people might, might not agree, but that's your emotions. That's your content, your video, right? Yeah. Okay. And, I, and I really appreciate the kind words because, like, I do put a lot of thought and effort into these and... Like, I'm not one who's like, oh, I'm going to become YouTube famous. Like, no, I just want to make videos that people enjoy, people laugh at, people are entertained, you know, things like that. Mm. 
Oh yeah, and that's the, that's the thing that a lot of people kind of lose fact of, and they kind of will strive for that YouTube fame while kind of losing part of themselves in the process. But we'll, yeah. we'll talk about that. We'll talk about that later in the interview. Okay. Okay. We're, all right. So, all right. I'm going to move on to pirates. Oh my god, goof troop, goof troop, goof troop review. Okay, I want to hear about. I want to hear about that. Okay, so again, every single game on here is going to have like a somewhat of a story, but not as good as like two thousand dollar Ace of Cake. Okay, but um, Goof Troop was a game that me and my dad would play actually, and um, it it, it reminds me a lot of uh, Legend of Zelda: Link to the Past, and like sure, some of it is kind of you know easy, but like I really freaking love that game, and it was whenever you know Capcom was still Capcom. And was you know also the fun fact that i found about i eh, found out was uh the same guy who made resident evil actually also made that game yeah fun really fact. yeah and really? i was like oh yeah and i was like oh this is cool but like i love pirate games and just i freaking love goof troop like i can't say that enough like i feel like it's one of the most underrated super nintendo games in all honesty hmm okay yeah, it, like that short, sweet, to the point. Just I, oh my god, I love Goof Troop. Oh, okay. So I'm guessing it. So you say it's kind of like a Legend of Zelda: Link to the Past style. Yeah, That's like awesome. it's like top-down view with like uh, you get like um items and stuff to solve puzzles. There's enemies. Um, like Goofy is a little stronger than Max, but Max is faster than Goofy. So. And the thing is, like, you can switch between characters if it's one player, you can play two players. And that's something that, like, I wish, you know, Zelda had more of, but it is what it is. I understand why they wouldn't, besides Four oh, Swords, yeah. but I love Four Swords, too. Oh, Four Swords. Oh, Four Swords. Okay. It's many, many, uh, many, many nights <laughs> with friends that ended up into fights because people would go do something else when we shouldn't be doing that. And we should be going towards the end, but we're not. Okay. All right. Sorry. I'm just having flashbacks. Yep. Flashbacks. 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 All right. Okay. So, all right, we're going to move along. Um, okay. So, I regret this decision. Glover. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I have never heard of this, and I'm interested to hear. You never heard of Glover. Okay. Ooh. Oh, my sweet summer child. I am so sorry. <laughs> so, Glover's okay. uh, platformer. And it tried to do like it tried to do something different. It tried to incorporate you using a ball to move around, and like you could like change it to like a bowling ball or like a marble or a bouncing ball or a crystal. Never do the crystal, by the way. Crystal, as soon as you like bounce it, it breaks. But this game had terrible controls all the way around. Like I understand why they wanted to do it, and it like was a new take on platformers because like this is around the time of you know Banjo Kazooie, you know Super Mario sixty four, so they tried to you know expand on it, but it just didn't work. Like it had potential, it had so much potential to work, but it just it wasn't executed right. And you know how like the camera work was during the Nintendo sixty four era, right? Like it would get stuck oh, behind the walls. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. I know. This this happened a lot. Like, there'd be times where I was playing, and I think I have it in the video, where the like the camera got stuck behind a wall, and I'm like halfway across the map, and I would just fall to my death. That's the kind of oh. game that this is. And like, there's some really wacky, weird characters. Like, there's a shark that walks around and like tries to nosedive into you. It's a weird game. But like, oh. it's... Some people actually still really like that game, and I can understand why, but, like, looking back on it, like, it's just so hard to control, and it's really, really flimsy, and, like, every movement, like, you're moving at, like, you're going from zero to, like, 50 miles an hour by, like, just a flick. Ooh. So, yeah. Especially with, like, the ball and stuff, so it's like, okay, all right, well, I'm dead. All right, cool. It, it's... Some people, like there's going to be nostalgia with the game. Like I still have nostalgia with it. I used to play it all the time, but just looking back on it, it just still, it just doesn't compare to the rest. Okay. Well, that's the thing is I've never really heard of it, 
but uh, I can completely understand the controls and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, uh, game I'm going to throw out here because I that have you ever played Conker's Bad Fur Day? Yes, actually, I have it right next to me in my uh, recording room. Oh, sweet, sweet Lord Jesus, thank you. Yes. Oh my God, that game, my God. I haven't uh, played uh, it forever. Um, they here. Here's something you might not know of. Um, there is a collection on the Xbox. It's called the Rare Replay Collection, mm -hmm. and they have that game in the collection. And they they basically ported it onto the Xbox. And let me tell you something: the camera did not freaking improve. No, they oh. the, were they just like, hey, oh. it's it's on there. We're not going to do anything about it. No, like I actually tried. To, I would try to record that for for the channel, and I'm just like, oh, the camera. Oh my god! I think I recorded one episode for it, and, then and I was just like, I was like, nah, man, no, no, no. It's like I love you, Conquer, but not, not, not to put not myself right through now. that. Not right now. That's really upsetting that they didn't fix the camera. That 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 actually just kind of broke my heart. I know, and it just basically, because basically, it puts it within kind of the widescreen kind of thing, like you would back in the day when you're playing it on the N64. Yeah, and like there's all kinds of different games in this rare replay, but Conquer, I thought maybe they would have done something with it. I'm hoping yeah. maybe they do something. Hopefully, they remaster it sometime soon, which yeah. would be amazing. Change the I, camera. Oh. Yeah, I remember, I remember watching E3, and I don't know if you saw the one where they were making a I think it's like. Uh, what was it? It was a game called like Project Spark. Yes, and I, and I remember like during the thing, like Conquer came out and like chained it down, like chainsawed it down. I'm like, oh my god, like Conquer's back. Like they're gonna make a Conquer game. And it was like, oh, you can put him in Project Spark. The end. Yeah, and yeah, I. That's... It's, oh my. I don't. I never. I will never. Xbox. I will never forget that. Never. You. No. You know what you did to us. You know that you broke us down with that and i'm yeah. still upset i'm still upset i know and i'm hoping that maybe if we ask enough maybe they'll do it but i, mean, I think it, it deserves it it deserves yeah, it it, it does. needs to be remastered it really think, does and i think it's possible because like a lot of platformers are coming out like came out this year that worked really really well like there's cuphead there's and some people might disagree with this but like ukulele um and like Super Mario Odyssey, like there's platformers that were, and Bubsy came back for crying out loud. Like this was a good oh, no. year for, this was a good year for platformers to like make a return. Like a hat in time. Exactly. Hat in time, yeah. for instance. Like, and I think with the growing love for this and like, cause it's kind of like an underground type of deal right now. Like a lot of people love platformers, but it's not getting the attention it deserved until oh, yeah. like, until this year. And I think, that's gonna push rare it better push rare i hope it pushes rare rare this better push you to do something with conquer because we've been wanting it for years well see the thing is too is that ultimately it's now microsoft's ability to do that because they yeah. own rare they own yeah. it mm -hmm. so so they have so basically we just got a bishop microsoft to go to xbox and be like Come on, guys, do this. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna put a thing. I'm gonna put a thing up on this screen right now, where it's gonna say, "Please share this video. Get them to make freaking Conquer remastered." Yes, Come on. please. I will. I will give my left arm. I won't give my left arm for that, but I will give something for it. I don't know what. Um, I will give them that Keyblade next to me. I'll give them that Keyblade if they do that. Okay, right, you heard him. He said the Keyblade. There we yeah. go. Uh, uh, but, I'll, I'll put it on Twitter too. I'm gonna tweet directly at them. Uh -huh. Yes, amazing. We shall see this. Okay. So okay, there's gonna be. I know there's gonna be a screenshot of that tweet. I don't care. It needs done. Yeah, there is. Go there is going to be a screenshot of that tweet. I will find it and I will put it up on the screen right Good. now. <laughs> there it is. There, see, see, there it is. Right there. Yeah, it's right there. It's right there. That's good. Hmm. Okay. All right, that was since we kind of went into a little nostalgia trip, which was great. Very good. Yes. Okay, um, let's go forward and talk about Okami. Or if I say uh, that. Yeah, Okami. Okay, Okami. 
that I did that for the uh, 100 subscriber um, special where a lot of people like the skits that I do in my videos, which I love doing skits like I do. And I'm a little upset I didn't get to do as many during my uh, newest video, but well, I'll explain that whole mess later. But Okami is, as you can tell, I'm very into Legend of Zelda and it has like a Legend of Zelda feel to it like a Nintendo 64 but like more refined it's very underrated um it was made by Capcom and it's something it has like a very linear like oh you can do you know all this stuff like you can go forward but like there's so many side missions that you want to do like you can help out my favorite thing is to help out this sleeping bear it, it, it's an adorable bear I just want to be his friend I want to hug him I want to love him forever but there's so many cool things to do in it and it has like a different kind of combat system. Like, yeah, um, it has like a beat em up type of feel to it, but like it has like the cool combos. Like, if you ever played like Bayonetta, it has like yes, that kind of feel. I, yeah. Uh, okay. It has like that kind of feel to it. But the cool thing is, like, it also gives you the celestial brush and you can do like little combos and stuff, like put like bombs or use wind. So you can use like certain things to your advantage. And it's like a really cool mechanic that I like. There, there's just I could gush about this game for like the longest time, but like if there's they're coming out with a uh, with it on the PS4 and Xbox One I believe in December, but mm. it's I cannot recommend this game enough. Like it did not get many sales like at all. It had like over one million on like three platforms, three or four platforms, and that's yes, you know, yeah. But it oh I could. And people are like, oh, Sean, you like it because you're a wolf. Well, yeah, that, that might have a little part in it. But the thing is, like, it's just a beautiful game. It's, you haven't seen anything like it before. And it upsets me so much that they shut down the studio that made it. Because, like, they made that. They made God Hand, Beautiful Joe. And now it's just like, yeah, well, you're, you guys are done. That's terrible. Well, and as I say, certain studios uh, that have been really closed down lately, too. Um, see, one that's near and dear to my heart, uh, Visceral Games. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Dead, Dead Space has been one of my favorite series to do. And there's not going to be... And they basically cut them off. And I was hoping they were going to make another Dead Space after 3. Yeah. I was hoping to see a next-gen version of it. And it broke my heart when I heard that they disbanded Visceral Games. I'm like, you sons of bitches. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. I was upset about it too. Like, I haven't... I did See, Dead Space 3, I liked. But, like, I like the other ones better. If that makes any sense. Oh, yeah. I haven't, I haven't gotten there yet, so... I've, okay. I'm still playing too. So. Okay. Like, it's uh, not... I'm, I'm not gonna sit here and say 3 is a bad game. Because some people might say that, but it's not. It's a little different. But I still enjoy okay. three. Um, quick, quick question because of my own fun. How different is it from two? Um, it's okay. It's like less. It's like the atmosphere, I should say. Like it feels more of like a uh, action shooter than suspenseful fear type of thing. Like from so, how one to two was. Yeah, but it's like a little more less than that. Okay. Like, yeah. But I mean, it's still a fun game for what it is. It's just, you're like, oh, well, it's not as spooky or scary, you know? Well, not spooky, but you get what I mean. Spooky's kind of I a, know. Yeah. Yeah. Now, um, I'm going to probably put the link to the video that I'm going to be talking about in a second here. I recently did an episode of that, um, and I wandered into, not going to spoil anything, wandered into a nursery daycare mm -hmm. area. Yeah. Yep. And there are exploding babies. Yep. And let me tell you, those things scared the crap out of me. Yeah. Uh, I uh, I saw this video of, like, this one person who, um, like, uh, you know how, like, contortionists can, like, walk, like, crab walk, but, like, they're the opposite way, so, like, they're uh, mm -hmm. backwards or whatever? Yep. I saw, I saw a video like that. And this chick, like, just ran up to someone, like, in the grocery store, and, like, they ran away. And I commented, like, if I ever saw that, I would just drop kick and run. Because, yeah. like, th those type of games made me prepare for that. Like, I played Evil Within, and, like, like you said, you had exploding babies. Evil Within had, like, 
babies like flying, like falling from the, uh, I guess oh, ceiling. Right. Yeah. yeah, and I'm like, I don't, I'm I don't like this. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm like, I don't like this. I don't like this. You like you, ah. And so, oh, all right, I'm gonna have to tie into that thing too. <laughs> Um, I think it was one of the, I can't remember what episode it was, but it was, the title was, it was, ah, it's babies. Oh my <laughs> God. Jesus Christ. Yeah. You don't. Yeah. It, it was, it was yeah. surprising. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, I completely agree with that. And especially certain games. We'll just talk into that. Anyway, getting back to Okami. Mm. Um, so, so yeah, I'm s- sad to see that. That and if it is coming up this December, I am going to definitely have to check that out because yes, it sounds very, very interesting. Okay, so moving on, moving on, we are going to talk about Nidhog Two. Yes, and you had a co-conspirator with you that that one. Yes, uh, Game Wolf. He's actually a really cool dude. Granted, we're not in the same you know country, but you know he 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 is very good to me. I'm very good to him. And by me being very good to him, I mean, like, I lose all the time to him. And, you know, whatever. But he he's a very good uh, content creator. Like, um, he's very funny with his edits. I really enjoy, like, the style that he does. Because it's, like, quick, abrupt. And it does make you want more. Like, and that's something big to me. Like, if their content creator makes me want more, like, that's a big thing to me. But... Mm. This was uh, Nidhogg 2, and in it, I actually do a little training montage and um, to one of Nidhogg's songs, which is called Oh Yeah, which just kind of sounds like baby-making music, which it oh, could yeah. be. Anything Anything can be baby-making music if you try hard enough. Yeah. Like, the wheels <laughs> on the bus go round and round. Yeah, yeah. And that next, if you're listening to this, next time you go on a date, make sure you play that. It's going to totally get them in the mood. It, 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 it's guaranteed 10 out of 10 works 10 out of 10 works 10 times out of 10 times i'm telling you i'm telling you oh wow, good, good good thing i'm already married <laughs> yeah, well well if you guys are ever fighting you know what to do yeah i'll just totally put that on yeah that's yeah perfect absolutely perfect but okay. um but that video that video was like just a lot of fun to make like it's kind of short but it was just really really fun to do because like i like doing collabs and like i said i really enjoy his stuff like he he deserves more views than he gets but it was one of those like all right let's just have fun with this and granted i'm not going to spoil who wins or loses but it was just overall a fun time to edit because nidhogg 2 is like a really fun game to play like one-on-one like if you ever want to like do like a quick like oh let's do your collab or you know let's do a stream and it's a fun game because like one you get to kill each other and two it's really easy to get the hang of except it took me a little while to learn how to jump not gonna lie like there's actually video proof of that where like oh yeah and, it, and like people are gonna be like oh you weren't trying like no i'm legit trying to j- over this ledge and it didn't work like it just did not work and it happened uh-huh. like three, four times. I didn't put all three or four times in, but like Nidhogg 2 was like a really, because I really like Nidhogg the first one. So like Nidhogg 2 came out, I was like, all right, I need to buy this. Oh yeah. But, but it, it's simple fun, honestly. And that that's like a little charm to it. Like it's not going to give you, you like 40 hours, but like it's a fun thing to play with games and yell at each other with and, you know, that kind of thing. I really had fun with that one. Okay, that's good. All right. Um, I will put a link to the, in the description down to uh, Game Wolf, and I also put a link to Nidhog Two. If I can find an exact link for that as well, I will put that as well. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna talk about your latest video, Medieval. Yes. Oh my God, Medieval. Oh God, yes. I freaking loved that game. It's so good. It's no. still. Oh. You know, go, go. You gush. Gush right now. Just do it. Just oh, my it God. Oh, my God. I remember playing that when I was younger. And, like, I would spend freaking hours playing that over and over again. Freaking hours. And I would just sit there and I'd just be like... But, and I'd be giggling myself silly as I played certain parts. And I'm just like, oh, my God. And, personally, now that I've seen it again, I'm going to go find it. Wrong for that son of a bitch. And I'm going to play it. <laughs> you need to. You need to. Because, like... Oh, it's... 
like yeah it's nostalgic but like it's still really fun like it's just oh yeah fun. It's, and like the humor in it is like witty yeah. still to this day and i think it has like some of the best like granted i didn't like you know the ending boss and then his dialogue because it was like oh he's super cool he's super awesome and then it's like he's no he's just kind of a klutz yeah. but with this video okay i spent forever trying to do this video like i had so i had skits done everything and i was telling you about this so this is you know oh yeah yeah oh yeah so please inform the viewers we need to so i had everything done like the whole entire video was done you know it was gonna export and all that so i went on my laptop to export it you know put it on youtube and you know so it release on halloween well mm -hmm. i go on my computer and it was saying disc 100%. And I'm like, what the heck? Like, there's no reason. I'm looking at everything. I had four, like, four things working. All right, take off the stuff. So I only had Adobe on. And it was still going to 100%. Try to figure out how to make it work. So it was like, all right, you know, I'll do like, you know, the whole, you know, clear disc, see, figure all that stuff out. Like, clean it out or whatever. Oh, yeah. So I did that. Now, the thing was, uh, I had no idea how long it was going to take. So it's at 10%. I'm like, all right, you know, it's, it's been a while. So I looked at, you know, I looked at the stuff on my phone. It's like, oh, it'll take anywhere between, you know, three hours to 12 hours. And some people have, you know, had to wait two days. And I'm like, oh, God, no. Oh, God, no. Yeah. So I was like, all right. So I was upset. So I'm like, all right, whatever. Went to yeah. bed and I woke up and I woke up. I woke up decently early and I go to my laptop and it's at 100%. I'm like, okay, so like I give it another hour. So at 100% won't do anything. So I'm like, all right, do I do I turn off and on again, blah, blah, blah. So I end up doing that. And uh, in doing so, uh, everything works now. It's, you know, fine. Granted, I had some problems with Discord today. Made me want to punch it in the face, but it's yeah. fine now. It's good. Issue was, it didn't have all my backup files. It didn't back up everything. So a lot of my video wasn't done like skits oh. were gone speaking oh. parts were gone even oh. like uh game footage was gone so i had an oh. entire day where i had to do it all and there's some stuff i didn't get to do like i had two funny skit ideas that i want like that i had done but i couldn't do them in time because one i had somebody help them with me and you know i wasn't gonna be able to get him because he was already doing something he, he's the guy who kind of barges in my door and yells at me to do stuff. And yeah, he, he he's done two or three videos. But so that was gone. I lost game footage to some of the Woody commentary. So that was gone. And so I was like, all right, I just need to do everything I can. And it took me from like noon to 9 p.m. just to get it done. And like, I finally Ooh. like, yeah. And oh, I know that feels, bro. I know that feels. And it was it, it, it wasn't like, oh, I took breaks. Like there were no breaks. No bathroom breaks, no nothing. I didn't care. There was no food, no dinner, nothing. Just get it done, over with, quick, now. And I got it out. And I'm I'm happy with how it came out. Now, let's talk about the game. Let's actually talk about the happy stuff because that whole thing gave me like so much anxiety. I was really upset about it. So kind of oh. Yeah. But the game's just fun. Like, it's just old 90s nostalgia. Like, oh, yeah. It, and, like, it's influenced after, you know, Nightmare, eh, Nightmare Before Christmas. I mean, obviously, pretty much everything is. That's Halloween based. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, like, the music worked. It was spooky. It had, like, Beetlejuice influences. I mean, Beetlejuice, like, not the Howard Stern, like, the actual movie. Yeah. But, yeah, which. But. It's just like a really, really fun game because like you get to beat people with your own arm for crying out loud. Like you can just throw it at people. It's it's fun. Oh yeah. Oh like, yeah, man. The level design, the atmosphere, it's just it, it still holds up. Like, yeah, the graphics aren't that but I mean the humor. The humor is like my favorite part of this game. Oh like, yeah. I didn't I didn't really get to expand on that because like I said, my whole computer. Anyway, but the humor like is my favorite part because it's witty, it's funny, they make it's oh, yeah. satirical, they make fun of you, they make fun of themselves, it's just over the top. It, it, it's it's just a fun time. Like I Oh yeah. It's one of those games that like still 
like you could play right now and you would still have fun you could oh, yeah. like even if you never played it before like you'd sit there and be like oh this is actually really cool i like this i want more of this and then you play the other sequels and well we'll save that for another day oh yeah that's the thing is lots a lot of the time if a game is really good and the sequels sometimes most of the time will not measure up to the original yeah um and that's the truth with a lot of different things movies games whatever so that's okay. perfectly fine oh yeah but yes medieval holds a special place in my heart and i will definitely have to play it to play it soon because goddamn i'm gonna do it it's good. gonna be fun it's gonna be good i'll be trying to do that i'm definitely gonna put that on my playlist because goddamn that's gonna be fun it is um fun. okay all right so we've kind of gone through all your videos mm -hmm. now i'm guess i'm gonna i'm gonna kind of so i'm gonna kind of take a step aside here i'm gonna ask you some stuff uh youtube wise um not okay. just your channel but just youtube wise mm -hmm. and kind of kind of way to that and we'll wrap up uh with the final stuff which we'll, you'll understand what i go with from here um okay. okay so i see as as i stated before i see that you have a decent amount of views on your videos now i want to ask you about tags how mm -hmm. important do you think they are and what do you think their importance is really I think tags are actually really important because, um, I mean, obviously people are going to look up things all the time. Like, I can't tell you how many times, like, I've been up on, like, YouTube and I'm just like, oh, I'm bored. I'm going to I'm gonna try to look up certain things. And there's, like, certain videos I've seen, like, even from, like, other reviewers or Let's Players that have, like, not many views, but, like, the tags brought me there, like, really quick. Now, it's, obviously it's going to be hit and miss because, like, I've sometimes done tags and those tags don't exactly show me like anything that I want, but I think it does have importance to it. It's just, you have to figure out, you know, what tags work best and what's going to make you stand out the most. Because like, if you're like, oh, you know, video games, like as a tag, like there, you're, no one's going to find you, you know? So, oh yeah. So like, it has to be like specific and something that I do, which I don't really know if it works or not, is I, like for medieval, I know some people might misspell that whole thing. So like, I'll misspell it in there. So, oh, like yeah. in, case, so in case someone, you know, misspells it, oh, that mine will be one of the first ones to come up, you know, that type of thing. So it's like, you kind of have to plan it out and see like, okay, what would work best? You know, like what, like make it specific, but also general, you know? Oh yeah. Yeah, and that's the see. That's the thing with especially the tags, is that you kind of got to get into the mindset of you can't single out being really, really specific, but you got to be general in in another sense. Because yeah. uh, especially if you put down, let's say, for example, uh, you put down Let's Play. Well, that's not good. Well, if you had the title of the game, Let's Play. Yeah, okay, good. That that narrows it down. Because basically, yeah. basically the way I like to put it is is you're baking a cake and mm -hmm. when you search you search cake yeah you're gonna find cake okay well if you put down how to bake a cake okay you see that okay what mm -hmm. are ingredients are in a cake and you go in more specifics and you find different subtopics within that and so yeah. especially with your tags you want to make sure that you use tags that adhere to the content you have in the video anything that you say in the video and Excuse me, apparently I had to cough for a second. <clears throat> oh, you're good. You're good. Okay, good. Oh, good. But um, you got to make sure that you kind of tie in everything that's in your video. Even if you say something silly that would like something ha happening at the time, tie that in. Because oh, yeah. the thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you broaden your spectrum so that people look for a certain thing, mm -hmm. uh, then they'll always find it. Uh, here's, a, here's a really weird example. Uh, you might not understand this, but... Okay, uh, months ago, when I first started YouTube, mm -hmm. I put up a video called How to Own a Ward. It was uh, Saints Row 4. Now, that video has two tags on it, but it is the most friggin' viewed video on my channel. Believe it or for not. For real? For oh. real. For real. Like, like, I will go to my channel right now, and I will tell you how many views son of a bitch has and let me let me tell you i am stunned because i see people viewing this video every freaking day yeah like no joke it was it's absolutely weird how i see this and i'm gonna go from oldest so i can actually see it i'll show you guys in the video 
they'll see how this is just this freaking bonkers how this is come on youtube you may load okay. do it thank you sir okay okay make a guess on how many views you think is on that video okay um hmm i'm gonna say twelve thousand. Ha. Huh. Thank you for being for putting it up there, but no. Okay, it is a fifty-nine second video. Okay, it has six hundred and twenty-four views. That for is that short for that video. It's called Saints Four Row Four Reelected: How to Own a Warden. The only tags on it, the two tags on it, mm -hmm. Xbox One and Upload Studio, which is the thing that's built into the Xbox studio to do clips and stuff with and no webcam just my really crap audio at the time xbox one upload studio over 600 views 624 views that's my most watched video on my channel and it keeps coming up in my analytics every freaking day people watch this it goes up like eight or so views a freaking day and i have that's, no idea why that's fantastic though that is that is fantastic uh, I know, and the thing is, it's just, so tags are really important, but I don't know how that thing gets that many views. I don't know, it, that is really, really odd. I know, and it just, it bonkers my mind, and so uh, I actually, like, I'm, like, after a while, I really haven't put Xbox One in my tags lately. I just think I'm gonna freaking put those tags in my video next couple of videos. Yeah, to see what happens. Yeah, because... I'm gonna start doing that. Oh, Sean, Sean's like, playing. Sean's playing N64. Well, and here's two tags because you told me to do it. It's all, <laughs> yeah, this yeah. is all your fault now. Uh, yeah, it's all my fault. It's all my fault. But no, um, tags are really important. But I don't get how that video is like. That's like one of my first freaking videos. Fifty nine seconds, and it shows me owning the shit out of a warden in that game. Like, I froze him and I threw, I grenade, no, I didn't, sorry. I rocket launcher the son of a bitch. So many times, every time he would try to get up, I'd smack him again with my blast, hit him with a rocket launcher again, and just keep going for 59 seconds. And I owned him, owned him. And it's like, it has like seven likes on it. And it's like, and eh, like 624 views. It blows my mind. It blows my freaking mind while looking at that. Like, seriously. That's the most viewed thing on my channel. I love it, oh though. God. Like, I, I seriously know. love it. Yeah. I was like, I'll put a link in the description of the video. You guys, if you want to bump up the views on that yeah, video, just... sure. <laughs> Watch, but like next week, it's going to go up to like 1,200 views because of this. Uh, I, I'd, I'd freaking laugh if it did. And then I will screenshot it and put it on Twitter saying, well, guys, you did it. <laughs> you did it. Thank you, guys. That, yeah. 59 second video. Okay, um, get, getting back into the whole thing. Yes. Uh, okay, so um, when you uh, actually, yeah, I think I'll go for that. Uh, titles. When you do your titles, do you find that you have to do anything special for them, or you just want to state what's in the video? Um, like with my titles, I put my name in it because you know that's just something that I think you know. If you ever like look me up, it's like, oh, okay, there he is. Um, what i don't know if it works or not it seems to be working but like i'll put like a little thing like uh for you know goof troop i did the whole like pirate saying and for glover i put the i regret my decision and then i put the game title and then i'll put like what it's for like you know glover i put like you know n64 and you know the whole playstation and all that oh, okay. and yeah so that's that it's pretty like easy um i didn't do that with okami which i well the thing, the thing that like I didn't do for medieval, uh, Okami was I didn't put like a you know thing in the beginning like I did for uh, Glover or Goose Troop, which yeah. I don't I don't know if that you know has the same kind of effect. Which I'm gonna you know I might change those titles up. I don't know yet because oh yeah hmm. that might be what's holding them back. But who knows? I don't I don't know. Like I'm still it's. YouTube's still a learning process, and there's always stuff to learn. Like, even for, like, big YouTubers, there's always something more to learn. You know? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I completely agree. Um, see, especially what I've learned, especially from different things, is that everything works different for other people. 
Yeah. And and so a lot of people try to go with uh, clickable titles, uh, which would like, for example, with the pirates and I regret this decision. It they want to say is it kind of entices someone to click them. Yeah. Uh, and so that's kind of the thing too. Um, with your thumbnails, I noticed that you always incorporate your kind of icon, your well, your icon, your character that you have up there that's wearing the the fox outfit correct with the controller yeah is that something that you always try to make sure that you have in your thumbnails because it identifies you yep that's something that i've always wanted to do like even with like the nid hall i'm not the character's not fully there but like i put my face on like one of the other characters so like i always want it to be a part of the video in some way shape or form like whether it's a collab whether it's a let's play whether it's you know any top 10 anything just i want because I think it's good to have something where people, you know, recognize you. It's like, oh, I know who this is. Or, oh, I know what that, you know. <laughs> Even if it's like a little minuscule thing, like, oh, it's his face. Or like, oh, it's a logo. You know, that kind of thing. Like, I, I think oh, that yeah. that helps distinguish you pretty well. My, my oh. thing is I need to start, you know, figure. I need to fix some of those thumbnails. Because my first couple ones, like, I was just like, I don't know how to do Photoshop. So I'm just going just gonna to throw some stuff in there. Oh yeah, well it's it's a learning process. As I was saying with the clickable titles and that, is it kind of you want to entice the people into it, especially with that, but you don't want to. My cat just flushed the toilet. You, Are you freaking kidding you're the me? Cat. <laughs> Look, the cat had to use the bathroom. Leave him alone. That's fantastic, though. Yeah, but how mad would you be if you like um, went in there and like there was just like cat poop right next to the toilet? I'd be, I'd be fuming because the litter box is right next to the toilet, like it's right outside the oh, bathroom. <laughs> and so <laughs> that's fantastic. Oh my god. <laughs> well, see, the thing is, the toilet bowl is closed, but somehow they have this friggin' affliction for flicking the goddamn thing. I'm keeping this in the video because that's, that's funny. Fantastic. What the hell? I, lo I love my cats. Um, I I'll I'll put I'll after this video is done I'll tweet out pictures of my cats just just for the hell of it because goddamn. I, I anyway. hope I hope the cats um, are sitting on the toilet looking at you when you take that picture. That's all I want. I'll, uh, I'll see what I can do with it. He probably would yeah, do sweet. it. Uh, going into going into this question here, I think it'd be a really good way to end this okay. video. Um, what advice would you give to someone starting YouTube today? All right, I'm gonna say the same advice that I wish I was given. Just do it. Just be who you are, and like, don't don't be sit there and say, "Oh, I need all this fancy equipment," or "Oh, I need all this." Like, just start making stuff now like just be creative just be you because here's the thing is you can have like all the fancy stuff in the world but if you're not comfortable and you're not you know used to expressing yourself and you know getting your ideas or creativity out it's still going to take you time but like once you start to like do it once you start to you know make videos once you start to create make scripts do skits do let's plays even like talking to people like through Twitter or Discord, like once you start doing that, you start to realize like, wow, like there's so much more to this than I realized. And honestly, don't be afraid to let yourself out there. Don't because everyone is different. Everyone has their own story. And like, as long as you have one person watching your videos, you impacted one person. You impacted someone that you would have never met in your entire life unless you did this. And like, to me, that's something special. That's something that we take for granted because like, there's people that like, I've met that live like in different countries that like, I've had deep conversations with. There's people that like, I've made laugh and people said like, hey, you know, I was having a crappy day. Your video made me laugh. Like, that means the world to me. And as long as you have one person watching your videos and being entertained, like that, it's, that's just what it's all about to me is just having that one. And if you have, and that's something that like took me a little while to get used to because like, I didn't really get many views in the beginning and people are always focused on views, but like 
one person liked it. And that meant the world to me. So don't be afraid to let yourself out there because like I said, like someone's gonna watch and you never know what kind of impact you're gonna have. Like even a simple let's play video where you, you know, you're playing a dating sim or like you're shooting somebody. For someone that's gonna make them laugh. For someone that's gonna make them interested. For someone, you know, you made their day. And as long as someone's watching your stuff, I think that's the biggest compliment that you can get. And that, but yeah. So like, my only thing is just don't be afraid and you never know what could happen. And you know, that, that was a little mm. personal there, but that that's, yeah, that's just how I am. I guess, I don't know. Anyway. No, 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 that, no, that is just exactly the mentality that people need to have, especially with YouTube these days is people are, I'm going to look at the camp really deeply and say this, people are obsessed with getting the fame. And it, it's it's a yeah. truth. And a lot of us, a lot of us YouTubers, small YouTubers, really want to hit that big fame. And the thing is, it's not going to happen overnight, unless for some strange reason you hit everything 100 per percent perfect. And even then, on that time, and even then, it's not going to happen. Yep. But see, I'm not going to say it won't happen for you because if it does, all the power to you. Go for it. Enjoy it. Do is reduce it. But don't become someone who does things just for the views or just for the money because guaranteed you're going to get yourself into a slump and you're going to make this your job and some youtubers this is their job but the second the second you stop enjoying what you're doing as a content creator stop because believe it or not you are forcing yourself into a slump people will see it you'll unknow it in your heart that you're not enjoying this anymore. Yeah. And that's really what you need to focus on is enjoying yourself with your Let's Plays, with your reviews, with your content in general. Because if you don't, it's just gonna be a lost cause and you're not gonna have a great amount of content that's gonna come out that's gonna be good. Because if you enjoy yourself, you're having fun, people see that. And that one person that sees that and enjoys it, makes it, impacts their day, they'll be like, thank you. You were yourself, you enjoyed yourself, you went and you did what was you. And that is the most important thing as a small YouTuber. And getting in social media, especially one thing I like to kind of point out is be social. Because you might you might be like a, a you small YouTuber time. Uh, uh, apparently I can't speak. It's all <laughs> good. But anyway, yeah, it's all good. But anyway, the thing is that you got to be social. You got to talk to other YouTubers. If you can get into a Discord where there's a bunch of different uh, YouTubers, just talk to them. Ask them about certain things. You're not sure about how to do a thumbnail or different softwares or different things that they would recommend. Talk to them about it because guaranteed, most small YouTubers that I've seen and I've talked to over Twitter and that are the best people. They're supportive. Oh, yeah. They want to help you succeed. And that's the thing is like, don't go for these jerks who have like a thousand subscribers and like that, that barely talk to you on social media, that don't give you the time of day. Like they, they're, sometimes there are a lot of self-centered ones and there are good ones. I will yeah. admit this, but, but don't be trying to always go reach out and go for the bigger ones. Mm -hmm. Look for the smaller ones. Even if somebody who has maybe one subscriber and they're funny, interact with them, do a collab with them, have fun yep. that's the main thing i want to pull out with this and with that i like to thank sean for sitting here with the interview for me today i really I appreciate, appreciate it being a it's been a very long yeah and it's a very long interesting conversation any of the links that i've talked about in this i will have a link to sean's channel and also to any of his social media so you can check him out there check him out on youtube yeah. just send him a message say hi tweet yes, or whatever it's well, all good and don't forget i'm posting yes. that uh well, I mean, it's going to be in the video, but I'm also, I got to remember to do that, uh, keyblade thing with rare. Yeah, we'll, we'll definitely get a screenshot of that. But anyway, I'm going to end this interview for today and I'm going to say my trademark going away thing. And this Canadian here is rooting for your bacon. See you later, guys.